Hello everyone, it is Lakidra again and I wanted to come on and stand with that standard that are standing in the gap, believe in God for the restoration of your marriage. You are standing on the promises of God. You believe you've received it because what Christ has done for you over 2,000 years ago with his blood, he has already broke down that wall of hostility and enmity. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. And so it doesn't matter what it looks like. I know this week may be a busy week for so many or some right now may feel like you are all alone. But I'm here to allow you to take a hold of what God is saying. As I bring a word of encouragement to you. That situation that you are facing is changing. It is not the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen, that are eternal. They are unshakable. They are unmovable. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall be forever, the Lord tells us. And so that divorce, that separation, that brokenness in your life, in your family, in your marriage, that wayward spouse, whatever you are seeing, that thing is changing. Remember what the Lord says. Believe when you pray, you've received it. Meaning, whatever you are desiring, believe that it is yours. Jesus has already paid the price. The curse has been reversed. By him becoming a curse for you and I. Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 tells us. For the Bible says, cursed is anyone that is hung up on the tree. And Christ was hung up on that tree for us. That cross for us. And he became a curse that we will receive the blessing, the promised Holy Spirit. And with him, the curse has been reversed. And all things that were written long ago for you and I are now being fulfilled. The moment you believe you've received it, that word will become your present. Hallelujah. As the scriptures say, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined unto his wife and they too are united into one flesh and since they are no longer two but one what God has joined together let no man split apart and the Lord God has joined these marriages together and they have already been restored through the blood of Jesus hallelujah and as you stand on these promises precious standards as a man thinks in his own heart about himself so, so will his life be. And so the moment you begin to see your marriage is healed. And that it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Because he has restored all things back in the earth through his blood. Back to God's original, original intent. The moment you begin to see that it is already done. Standing on that very word of what Christ has done for you. It is yours. You will receive it, Jesus said. As the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace. The peace in that relationship between a husband and their wife. The peace to have between God. The peace to have with one another. The peace in the family as a whole. By his stripes, you were healed. The punishment that was taken upon him was for your peace. Stand on the promises of God. The Bible tells us that in his own body, our Lord Jesus Christ broke down all hostility and enmity in relationships. What he's even done across the world in the body of Christ, breaking down that enmity, that division. Breaking down and removing that separation to make one body. And this is the same power. This is the same blood that was shed for a husband and a wife to become one body. God's will and purposes and plans shall be. For heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will be forever. And so people of God, don't look at the things that are seen. These things are only temporary, but they are reversing. The moment you begin to take a hold of what God has already done for you, your situation is subject 
and bound to change. It has to bow. It has to bow to the things that are not seen. Hallelujah. Which is the word and the promises of God. And what God has already done for you in heavenly places. And so the moment you begin to see what he has done for you already on the cross. This is the same power. The same defeat that came to the enemy. Is the same defeat you'll see against what the enemy has done in your marriage. You will begin to see the healing. You will begin to see that word. Hallelujah. That word becoming. That word becoming what God has spoken over your life. You will begin to see the manifestation. As you think in your own heart. As you believe within yourself. By walking. By faith and not by sight. Hearing the word. Not losing sight of it. That word will enable you to see that it is already done. Faith comes by hearing. And by hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 tells us. And so the enemy will like to fight each and every one. By keeping you distracted on what you are seeing in the natural. Because it's what's going on in the realm of the spirit. He knows is what's going to bring you out. And that's focusing and fixing your thoughts. On things above. Things that are written. Things that have already been stored up in heavenly places for you. That is what's going to come forth. And replace what he has done in your life. What the enemy has brought forth in your life. It is by faith the Bible tells us. That we overcome this world. That we overcome the enemy. Hallelujah. And so the Lord God says, whatever you are desiring, whatever you are needing, when you pray, believe you've received it. Meaning, look to me. Look at what I've done for you. Look how I've already paid the price for you. Look how I've already defeated your enemy. Look how I've already stopped him. How I've already cast him out. When I came in the form of flesh. And defeated him on that cross. The moment you see these things. You can believe. That you've received it. And it is yours. Hallelujah. And so it's all about going back to the cross. Precious standards. Don't look at what is what is going on in your life. Look at what has already happened. To change what is going on in your life. Hallelujah. And this is how you overcome. We overcome by our faith. Jesus says nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. And so let your faith be based off of what Christ has done for you. It's the blood that reconciled your spouse who may seem like they are not coming back to God. But the blood has already been shed for them to reconcile them. So it has already been done. All you do now, you be that channel. Hallelujah to declare and believe in your own heart and you will be the one to cause that spouse to come out because of your faith. Hallelujah you being that priest, that intercessor, that one who stands in your spouse's stead, thanking God for them, sanctifying them for the sanctified spouse, sanctifies the spouse who is away. Hallelujah. So the devil is defeated. The same God who has turned around things in my life. Hallelujah. The Lord God who, who brought things to pass when it looked impossible in my life, in my marriage, in my relationship between my husband and I and men of you all who have also been standing and as well and seeing what God has done. It's all about believing and holding on to the promises of God. God brings forth that suddenly. That suddenly, and when that suddenly comes, it's going to be like a dream that has come true. And it will be every bit of what God has spoken. God has no respecter of persons. And so precious standards, I'm telling you, it's all about standing and looking on the things that are eternal. For they cannot be shaken, and that is the word of God. It stands forever. It shall endure all things. It shall overcome every attack. It overcomes the divorce. It overcomes the stony, stubborn heart. It overcomes that situation that looks impossible. 
as the word says, our Lord God, he says, I will take out that stony, stubborn heart and give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you and cause you to walk in my ways. The moment you begin to take a hold of these powerful, miraculous promises of God, hallelujah, and believe upon them, they will be yours. Hallelujah. For God is the same God he was yesterday, today, and forevermore. That word will continue working and working for your good. That word would never stop working for you. That word will become your now, your present. You will begin to take these things as though they has just happened all over again. Because the word is eternal. They will work and be passed on from generation to generation. They were written, hallelujah, for you to receive from out of God's storehouse, from out of what Christ has already done for you. They were written so that you can receive all of his benefits. It is written, as the scriptures say, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh. And that's what the word promises. And that's what the word will see to being done in your life. The moment you believe in the power of the living God. Believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. The Lord God is greater than it all. He is greater than that situation. And so begin to believe. For faith comes by hearing. And by hearing by the word of God. Let that word penetrate deep in your heart. Let that word show you what is in the now. Let that word show you what is already done. And override what the devil is saying. And override that divorce. And turn and remove that mountain. That mountain of stone. That mountain of rebellion. That mountain of enmity. The power of the living God that broke down the wall of hostility that separated nations all around the world. To keep the divide and the division and keep out the things of God from coming to pass. I'm telling you, that same word that broke down that wall of hostility. The blood of Jesus that was shed and paid the price to defeat it all what the devil has done. It's the same power that's coming forth in your marriage. You're going to see these things take place in your own life. Where that wall of hostility and enmity, you'll see fall flat and be put to death. And there be a joining. That there be a joining and a like-mindedness. When you and your spouse be on one accord and that unequally yoked relationship. Hallelujah. Be turned around and line up according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Where you and your spouse are flesh of each other's flesh. And bone of each other's bone and that marriage begin to mirror. Christ and the church united into one flesh. This is the powerful things that God has ordained for your marriage and wants you to take a hold of them. God is saying your marriage that I'm giving you is a supernatural marriage. It is not a marriage that has been built by hands. But it is a marriage that is built without hands. By the word of God and his power through the Holy Spirit. Of what Jesus Christ has paid the price for you and I to have. It is already done, people of God. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. You can see past the darkness. And that you can see past the negative thoughts. And that you can see past the tension. And, and that you can see past the lies. And that you can see past all obstacles. And everything the enemy has put in your way. May you be able to see through it all that God is greater. Hallelujah. And that you have already overcame and won the victory. Jesus says, this is how it will be yours. This is how you overcome. And so the word of God is bringing forth faith in Jesus' name. And so I want to stand with that one who, who's, who's right now, who right now may be feeling like you're alone. You're needing someone to stand with you. I stand with you. I'm telling you God's word is true. God cannot lie. It is already done. He has defeated the enemy over 2,000 years ago. That's the greatest weapon you can ever use against him. The blood of Jesus has reconciled everything in this earth. He's reconciled the relationship between a husband and a wife. He's reconciled relationships back to him in heaven. He's reconciled 
Oh, hallelujah. Everything he promised, it was already finished on the cross. And so I encourage you, precious standards. Oh, hallelujah. Don't look at the things that are seen. It's the things that are not seen. That's what stands. Supernatural marriages that God has ordained and built by faith and believing in his word. That is what's happening now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank God for what is coming your way. And I want to pray with that one that may feel like you're alone. You are not alone. My God, you are not alone. God has already paid the price. And as long as God be for us, what could stand against us? He has already taken care of it. The Bible didn't speak about your marriage being healed. It shows that God has already healed it. God has already restored it. He has already reversed the curse. Hallelujah. Jesus says, just believe. Believe on what he has already done. My God, this is what brings glory to God. It's the same thing that happened with Abraham. When he was fully convinced that God keeps his promises. That nothing is too hard for him. My God, this is what brought forth glory. And in his old age. And in, and in the life of his wife. Who was also barren. And in her old age. Brought forth a miraculous pregnancy. And conceived their son. My Lord, it was just as God spoke it. That word came to pass. That word was manifested. That word did not fall to the ground. And the very word you are standing on now will not fall to the ground. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For everyone that has joined me, Lord, in that standard that is struggling right now in their hearts and in their minds. They can't seem to get past the obstacles. Lord, they are blindsided right now. They may be struggling and having a hard time hearing, oh God, because of all the negativity. Oh God, and may your word penetrate right now. May your word begin to renew their minds and transform their ways of thinking. Lord God, so that they can become that channel. That channel in the earth. So that your glory will be seen in that marriage. Lord, thank you that that spouse who was away from you, God. That this standard is standing in the gap for. Is coming back, oh God. Lord, thank you, Jesus. For you have already paid the price. Marriages shall be an illustration of the way you, Lord God, said it shall be. An illustration of the way Christ in the church are one. Where the husband is loving his wife as his own body. As Christ loves the church. And the wife being submitted unto her husband who loves her and adores her. Hallelujah. Who is her spiritual head. Her spiritual provider. Her financial provider. Hallelujah. Her covering. Oh God, she submitted unto him as the church is unto you. Thank you for this mirror and this picture of what your marriage looked like. That is coming forth right now. In Jesus' name, in the lives of standards, oh God. Their marriages shall not be the same. Thank you for suddenly phone calls. Lord, thank you for causing husbands and wives to be like-minded towards one another. Causing them to have so much in common now. Where there is no more discord and enmity. There is only oneness and fellowship in you, Lord Jesus Christ. That there is only love and kindness and peace and gentleness and happiness, oh God. And joy, unspeakable joy in these marriages. And that they are full of your glory. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for doing what you have promised and spoken in your word. We see it now happening all across the world. And in the lives of standards, oh God, that are right now under the sound of my voice hearing. Thank you for your power that raised the dead. Lord God, that is transforming marriages by the renewing, by the renewing of spouses' minds right now. As a man thinks in his own heart, so is he. Lord, I thank you. Your word is causing standards to see them the way you see them. And they are becoming in that same image and likeness. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And they are getting past all the obstacles. They're getting past the divorce cases. They're getting past, oh God, everything that stood in their way. They are overcoming it all because of the power that's being at work in them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for this power that is bringing forth what you have spoken. By hearing your word, the seed, it is bringing forth fruit. So we praise you in advance. Thank you, Jesus, for miracles. Thank you for salvation. 
in the lives of wayward spouses. Their footsteps are being ordered by the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your word is created in them. Your word is created in them. A clean heart and a right spirit. It is being as your word spoke. It is being as your word has come forth. Lord, thank you. Where the word of God is powerful. The word of God transforms. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the manifestations that your word is bringing forth here in the earth. As the people of God perceive it and hear it. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And all the people of God, we give you the praise. Thank you, Lord, for restoration and recovery. Marriages will never be the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise and precious standards. As long as God before you, what could stand against you is already. He has already went before you. It is already finished. That's what he spoke on the cross. And as you stand on that truth, as you stand on that truth by allowing the word of God to empower you and help you see this truth, my Lord, it is yours. It's coming to pass. Get ready for the best is yet to come. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. And I will be joining you again this coming Wednesday. And until next time, remember you are already blessed. It is already done. Hallelujah.